Mo mostly I worry because no one has looked at the long-term effects of vaccines. And no one's really looked at the effects of multiple vaccines given together. And we, we know that, that if you get two viral infections at the same time, that you can have some devastating results. And so if combinations of viruses can produce devastating results, what about combinations of live vaccines, you know, live viral vaccines? And no one's really looked at that. So, um, and I worry also that with all these vaccines that we're undermining children's opportunity to develop immunity. So um, if, we, if we eliminate all childhood illness, then where's, where are we gonna get immunity from? What's fascinating is that third world countries with lots of infections have no asthma to speak of. They have very little juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, very little type one diabetes. I mean, they have worms and parasites and lots of infections. So apparently there's something about the, the balance of cytokines. Um, when you get sufficient infections, you don't tend to get autoimmune diseases. So um, I wonder if we're pushing people toward autoimmune disease and away from infectious disease. And I, I suppose I'd have to say that um, in medicine, we do a lot of things that we don't really understand the long-term consequences. So which is better, um, to get measles, mumps, and rubella and chickenpox? or to get type 1 diabetes, asthma, and juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So, um, but we don't think that way. We just think, oh, infection, bad, vaccine, good, give. And more is better. And so we're not really contemplating the long-term consequences of our actions. You know, there, there was a, a, you can't really sue the makers of vaccines thanks to an act of Congress. And there must, they must know something about unpredictable side effects if Congress had to intervene to prevent lawsuits against vaccine makers. So it all, it all worries me.